All right, here we are working on taking off the rear bumper to build the uh, rear move bumper. Pretty easy, you just pull out a couple of uh, 10 millimeter bolts, pull out some uh, 15s over here on both sides, and then underneath the license plate, there's also two 15s. Just go ahead and unbolt those, and then you know, you just gotta make sure you unhook all your wiring harnesses. Then when you pull that, uh, pull those bolts, that factory bumper will come right off. It's really lightweight, not much to it. Uh, this truck does have the parking sensor, so we're gonna pull those out of the old bumper and put those into the new one. So we will keep working on this. I'll just kind of try to video along in segments. This is a 2017 Ram uh, 3500 pickup. We'll see, they talked about the hitch maybe needing a little different piece in the back. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll see, uh, see what happens here when we start fitting up the new bumper. We might have to do a little trim in there, but all right, we'll check in here in a minute. All right, so the second step, you want to just start somewhere and get those brackets mounted up on the back. Uh, you want to make sure you get some bolts. I just have some miscellaneous ones. Uh, it does not come with any in the factory bolts. won't work because you're going to be short some nuts. So make sure you get a good set of bolts from the hardware store. And then you really want to make sure you line up this top edge with a straight edge. And then get these bottom corners lined up down below. I'm going to have to smooth that one out a little bit. Just pull it out when we finish welding it. But get her tacked together. Um, just these pieces. The... Bumper mounts are going to sit up inside of this angle, so that should let you get her tacked, tacked on there and get her lined up. And then once you get that part on, then you can start tacking the rest of the pieces on and then pull her off and finish welding. Got all the pieces tacked in where they belong. It, really, everything fit pretty good. Just a couple little pieces needed trimmed. Uh, but everything's all tacked in where it needs to be. And now we'll pull it off and start welding her up together and cleaning it up. We had to drop the brackets all the way down to make sure the tailgate wouldn't hit. Uh, the tailgate wants to hit actually quite out here on the edge where this bend is, so we just had to drop her down a little ways. All right, so here we are. We've got her welded on the inside and the outside. I don't know that you'd have to do full inside weld, but uh, I do think it adds a little bit of strength to it and uh, it's good practice for my son. We are going to add some plates uh, from this inner mount to the outside just to uh, add a little support there. So, you know, if you get hit from the side or something like that, it should add a little bit of rigidity to these brackets. Um, so we're going to go grab some of that plate steel now. Uh, definitely going to be a lot, of, uh, a lot of grinding in our future here just to get everything cleaned up. Flip this thing over. You can kind of see what finished project of the rear looks like uh, drilled in the holes for the uh, parking sensors uh, we just plasmaed in a hole for the uh, brake controller connections there and yeah I don't know it looks really good I'm uh, I'm excited to get her cleaned up and uh, they'll look a lot more like a bumper so Anyway, we'll get those plates, get those welded in there. I do not have the uh, light tabs welded in yet because we're waiting on the lights to show up. So hopefully they'll be here tomorrow or Monday and then uh, we can get everything finished up. So we will finish this when we get a little further along. All right, so here we are. I've uh, actually had this bumper done for a little bit. I've had it on the truck for a while. Um, I got everything all painted up and finished up. Uh, it's been holding up really well. I've got the lights in. I've got the parking sensors in, which worked out really well. The one thing that I regret not doing is welding some nuts on the back of the license plate bracket holes. So I've kind of got some big uh, threaded ones in there. You could probably tap the holes as well, but to have welded some nuts on the back would have been uh, the smart thing to do. So if I ever take it off, I will definitely do that. The other thing I would recommend is, I didn't realize until after I had done this, but there was a hole here so that you could get into the spare tire carrier. And since I dropped this down to clear, I think I can get my rod in there, but a person might have to clearance this hole just a little bit to get the rod inside so you can actually get the uh, spare tire down. So that's gonna be a project I am going to work on, making sure uh, so I can do that before I actually have a flat tire. So overall, the bumpers are great. They look good. I get a lot of compliments on them. Um, they've been holding up good. I finished these 
and then uh, I just painted them. In hindsight, I would definitely probably go with powder coating or rhino lining. Uh, it just seems like everybody wants to park carts and hit them and the bumpers hold up good, but I guess the nice thing with paint is you can just touch it up really easy. But uh, anyway, that's the end of the rear bumper.